Hey YouTube, welcome back. So today I want to talk about the topic of how to cycle a tank. But before I do this, I want to talk about what cycling even is. So, what it is, is when your fish produce waste, it turns to ammonia. Now, ammonia is very harmful for fish, um, but the good thing is there's many natural bacteria that will actually consume this ammonia and turn it to nitrite. Now nitrite is still harmful for the fish, but a lot less than ammonia. Now there's a different type of bacteria which will eat the nitrite and turn it to nitrate. Now that's why we need to do water changes to get the nitrate out of the tank. Now nitrate isn't as bad as ammonia, but it still can be harmful for the fish. With that being said, now cycling a tank is absolutely necessary for any tank at all. So there's many um, misconceptions of this. What many people think is to have your tank running for a few weeks before you put fish in and that would actually cycle the tank. But the reason that would not work is very obvious and I actually didn't notice this until a few weeks ago until someone pointed it out to me. But I always used to try to cycle a tank for a few weeks before I put any fish in. Now the reason this doesn't work is because if you try to just put water in and you think the bacteria is going to form, it won't because it needs food to feed on. Without any fish in the tank, there will be no ammonia produced and therefore the bacteria cannot form or eat or grow. So whenever you just have water in the tank, it is not helping the cycling at all. The only reason you should wait at the beginning to put fish in is because you want the oxygen to dissolve in the water. Now the correct way or the way that I think is correct to do this to cycle a tank is to wait 48 hours before you put any fish in. So let's say you get a 10 gallon tank completely empty. Put all the decorations in, clean them, make sure it's all good, fill it up with water and wait 48 hours with everything running. Now, 48 hours for two reasons. One, the oxygen, like I said, and two, you actually make sure everything's working. Now, when you add fish, you don't want to add all at once because there won't be enough bacteria that grows right away that will actually support that amount of fish because they'll be producing a lot of ammonia. Now, what you want to do is add, let's say if you have a 10 gallon tank, add about 50% of the fish that you want to add in total. So if you're going to add 10 fish, add 5 fish at the beginning. Now this way, um, it's not a huge vial load and the bacter bacteria can form fast enough to support the fish. Now after a few weeks, once the cycle has begun and finished uh, a full cycle, then you could add the rest of the fish in. Um, this way more bacteria can form at a faster pace. If you do happen to add too little amount of fish, then it won't produce en enough ammonia for the bacteria to form. Um, many people try to add one fish at a time over a few weeks, and sadly this doesn't always work because sometimes the bacteria formed at the beginning isn't much, and then they try to add another, and it continues to not grow fast enough at the rate that you're adding fish. So I would suggest adding about half of the amount of fish that you want in the end, right at the beginning. With all that said, hopefully I helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.